Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about non-shedding dog breeds, hyperallergenic dog breeds, and matted coats. Although there is no such thing as a completely hyperallergenic dog because all dogs shed some kind of allergens. There are a few breeds that are known to be better for allergy sufferers. So from what I can gather, these shedless dog breeds are the ones you can use your clipper on. I personally would never go shorter than a number 10 blade on their body. And that's only if the pet is extremely matted and shaving and starting fresh is the only option. Here are some pictures of extremely matted dogs. Normally, a 7F C blade is perfect for a short summer cut. Shedless dog coats also go through the three stages of growth. Be sure to check out my undercoat video to learn more. Also, be sure to brush the hair or fur to remove dead hair. Some coats never stop growing, and if not taken care of properly, it can basically bury the dog inside its own coat. So here's a picture of that. Can you imagine that? Most dog breeds are prone to matting, but in my experience, the small fluffy dogs are the ones who come in pretty bad. That brings me to my next topic. What is matting? Matting is when a knot becomes so big that it's pretty much impossible to comb out. Mats can cause skin irritations because it's pulling on the hair in different spots at the skin and because it can hold in moisture, debris, and pretty much any ectoparasite. So what do I do when a matted dog comes into my shop? Number one, ask the owner and double check if the pet has fleas. If the answer is yes, or if I see them myself, deal with that situation accordingly. Some groomers will agree to continue to groom and others will not. Each groomer and grooming salons have different rules. Number two, shave the dog the most I can before the bath. Never bathe a matted dog. The mats get tighter and will take forever to dry. Number three, after drying, after the drying is done, continue the groom process as you normally would and reclip if necessary. Matted pooches are harder to groom because of the coat being so tight against the skin that the possibilities of nicking is higher. So take your time, be careful, and charge accordingly if you see fit. Always talk to the owner and explain what you're going to do to their pet. And most importantly, explain why. Most owners don't like getting their dog shaved down, but in most cases, it's necessary. Maybe next time, they'll take better care of their coat by brushing at home or getting it done professionally. As I mentioned in my other video, my goal is not to blame or to shame anyone, but rather to inform and educate the owner so that the pet is not put in a situation where it's matted, where it's matted to its tail. With all that being said, some coats can be recovered if they have minor mats here and there. They can be cut out using the thinning shears and, and or the matting tools. Here are some pictures of the matting tools. Each tool is different and effective in its own way. It depends on how and where on the dog you use it. Matting can happen for a lot of reasons. Here are some of the reasons and how to prevent them. A long coat. 
If you like your dog's hair to be long, make sure you're brushing at home at least every other day. If you don't have time for that, maybe try a shorter coat. Not brushing properly. If you do choose to brush every other day, make sure to be doing it correctly. Line brush with a slicker brush and check for knots or places you missed with a comb. Once you can get a comb through the entirety of the coat, ta! Your success you have successfully brushed out your dog wearing tight collars and harnesses for too long. Collars and harnesses should fit not too tight or too loose. Also make sure to take them off once you get home. Now name tag collars are very important in case your dog escapes from your house. Those may remain on the dog just make sure it's not too tight. Wearing dog apparel. The rubbing of the fabric against the fur can cause knots to form, eventually causing mats. Bathing a dog whose coat is knotted. As I mentioned before, never bathe a matted dog because they get tighter and will take hours to dry. Okay guys, so that's all for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Happy grooming!